What is up everybody, Jarrett from Empire of Assets here and today we are talking about the Obnoxious Nine, what they are, how they got their name, and why they are so hard to find to complete your MetaZoo set. So right away, what are the Obnoxious Nine? The Obnoxious Nine are nine different rare cards in the first MetaZoo set, Cryptid Nation, and the reason that they are called the Obnoxious Nine is that there is only about a third of them compared to the rest of the rare holographic cards. And why is this? That is because there is only regular holographic and not reverse holographic versions of these nine cards. So instead of there being about 2,131 of each of the cards, there is only 872. That's because in a normal card like Mothman, for example, there's going to be 872 hollows and then 1,259 reverse hollows. So if you're trying to complete the set and get one card of each of the 159 in the set, these cards are going to be the hardest because there is, like I said before, about a third of them compared to the rest of the rare cards. And what are these nine cards? These cards are going to be Chessy, Sam Sinclair, Death Beam, which I have here, pretty neat card. And then Growth, which I also have. These are the only two of the Obnoxious Nine that I do have. Um, and then you also have Power Up Red, Phoenix Rain, Silver Bullet, and Ghost Train. Those are going to round out your Obnoxious Nine. These cards definitely command a premium on the secondary market because most of the serious hardcore collectors do know about these nine cards and how they are so much harder to find. Um, where the term comes from, the Obnoxious Nine name was from somebody on the Discord. Um, when people started pulling cards, they saw that these ones were much more rare, found that they didn't have reverse hollows, and this person, which if you know who it is or it is yourself, please leave a comment down below. I would love to give you some credit for coming up with the great name Obnoxious Nine. Um, they said that these are going to be the most obnoxious cards when trying to complete your set because they are so hard to find. An interesting note too is that these cards do limit the amount of complete sets that could be made with the Kickstarter edition and that is going to limit it to a possibility of only 872 full complete sets could be made because that is the lowest number, uh, the lowest production number of any cards in the set which are these nine. Obviously there will never be that many complete sets because so many people will keep their boxes sealed but just something to be aware of. If you do pull any of these cards you should know this information before you try and sell them on the secondary market because they do um, command a little bit of a price premium and you don't want to be selling them for the same price as the rest of the holographic cards. So I hope you guys learned what the Obnoxious Nine is. If you like the MetaZoo content, subscribe for the channel. Um, I definitely enjoy the game and will have more content coming out. Otherwise, thanks for watching um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.